you know, I've, we've been doing this for 10 or 11 years now, giving these awards, and uh, uh, as we do this, Dave Lauer with Athletes and Access, we talk several times and we do research on who, who should be the recipient and for what particular city, and many times, or most of the times, in fact, almost all the times, I really don't know that person very personally, um, but this one case is, is an exception. I've known Dell for many years. Actually, we go to the same church, uh, although we've got different services. Um, <laughs> but uh, Dell is, a, as you can read on the, um, the program on your table, the accolades that he's done in his life is, um, is beyond measure as far as, you know, he's a world-class athlete. Um, he's raised three fine children. Uh, he started a foundation to help the youth in our city. Uh, he's, but beyond that, just as I just talked about, what you see you know, in the public eye is the same as what you'd see him walking down the street. He's a man of character, a man of sincerity, and somebody that I think that has really made a positive impact, not only on Charlotte, but on the entire NBA, through what he's done and what his children are doing now. And I would like to say to you, Del, uh, when you were playing here with the Toronto Raptors, Steve and I knew that as long as Dell wasn't being tied down to a treatment table or something like that, that he was going to be a chapel. This was a man who was firmly dedicated as a husband, as a dad, and as a player to continuing the process of becoming grounded and receiving from God's Word. I'll never forget showing up at a Raptors game one Sunday afternoon and Dell saw me and the first thing he said, Herbie, you weren't to church this morning. <laughs> so I had an accountability partner built in as well. So Dell, congratulations on the award, but personally, thanks for all that you did for us and you meant to us during your time as a player here in Toronto. I love you and God bless you and congratulations. Played for three years, and I gotta give a shout out to Butch Carter, the guy who brought me here in Toronto. Uh, great time in my life. Uh, my kids were able to come up and, and um, experience a new culture, a new city, and, and they still talk about their time here. Um, we had a great, great dinner last night. Steph was able to hang out with his coach, Queensbury Kristen, uh, while he while he played here. So it, it was a a really special time here. Um, I'm very honored, proud, humbled to, to uh, be able to accept this award. Uh, when Coach Mo called me, he was talking about you know the possibility of accepting this award, and my first thought was, okay, did he call the right number? Uh, <laughs> second thought was, okay, well, the first guy must have canceled. <laughs> After you know thought and prayer, you know, I, I said I've got to accept this award because Bobby has been such an inspiration in my life. Um, being, being from Charlotte, he actually coached both of my sons uh, early in their career. So I saw his leadership, his character, and it was all faith-based and how he, he would take a back, back seat and just do, go about his due diligence and, and you never, never know who's in the room. But I said, this is a guy that I, I want to watch, uh, I want to emulate, I want to try to, to uh, live up to what he's doing off the floor. Um, so I, I watched how he raised his family, uh, his kids, White Tess, I, I watched how they, they conducted themselves throughout the community in Charlotte. I tried to, to emulate that and pass that along to my kids. So, uh, Bobby, thank you for all the, the inspiration that you uh, continue to, to display in, in my life. And uh, this award really means a lot to me. So, thank you. Uh, enjoy your weekend.